Hello, this is George Lees again, trying to make another video on religion. So that's Ibrox. <laughs> no, sorry, it's Bristol City, which is famous for money laundering since Gordon Bowden and I started not to sing about it, but that is the Rangers fans singing We Are The People. And I've just explained how Micah is in the Bible, and he sings the song Grace Kelly, and that ad has come up <laughs> at the bottom and that is Mike Micah and that is Grace Kelly who is a Rainier and she was murdered allegedly uh, and that is the Grace Kelly that is the Rainiers and the Rainiers in Monaco are the uh, people bloodlines that are rainy okay I have no evidence on the screen for that but it, I got into Monaco by looking this morning on the history of this man who is Aristotle Onassis and guess what his wife's name is yeah it's religious hatred all the way uh, his wife's name is uh, Gethsemane and I've got pictures of Jesus suffering there there it is it's uh, named as a place which is full of oil uh, and that is olive oil and Aristotle Onassis became a legendary uh, oil magnet and a shipping magnet like the Piso people become the owners of the shipping lines and his granny's name that's Aristotle Onassis the covers for the Greek mafia that was uh, Piso after they had left Rome and Naples because they're cowards and they hate volcanoes so they went to the gods Greece and stole Mount, uh, Mount Olympus and Onassis's shipping company was called <laughs> was called there, oh sorry that's David sorry we've got the wrong story there and that's the religious division that is be being a Rangers fan and singing we are the people and that for them sadly becomes the village people and the gay boys in America once they've killed the pagans <laughs> uh, so there's Gethsemane and uh, if we go back we may see there's Galilee and all the places where uh, Jesus never lived and there's Jesus the night before he was hung up by uh, Aristotle Anassis's ancestors that is Andrea Mantegna's Agony in the Garden depicting Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane uh, and let me just see if I can find Aristotle Anassis's tab on here and we can see his history uh, it's quite interesting really I've got it on the other computer but it's near death now like Jesus at that time in his life and he had to sleep outdoors like all of the people in Dundee now have to do because uh, Nicholas Sturgeon is a Rothschild and all of that is a tragedy for the world that all of them are out of Alex Salomon Rothschild cigar tube and that is Alex Salmon who's now in Westminster with all of the other thugs that are the Muppet Show uh, and there's what became of Rangers that's Craig White of Monaco like Prince uh, like Aristotle Onassis uh, let me see if I can live up to this other computer oh no it's gone to sleep I think it's in safe mode uh, and it's still going to sleep it's terrible so I'm going to have to find all that evidence again on this other computer uh, so that is Aristotle and he looks quite like the uh, godfather and they have massive fires in his place there he is <laughs> Uh, okay. 
lovely looking guy. Let's just see if we can see that on the big screen. Uh, so he's Aristotle Onassis, and we can get him even bigger. And he's quite a thug, really, but he owns everything. And his name, for a laugh, like the uh, massive crime syndicate that is uh, Joyce Grenfell in the St. Trinian's movies, he is called Ari. <laughs> yeah, that says Onassis, January 1906 to 15th March 1975 commonly called Ari or Aristo Onassis Jennifer how are you today and have you got your clothes on now <laughs> that's Jennifer Aniston who is Ari too she's Ariston and that's one of the nicknames for the Bible author Arius Scoponius Pizzo was a Greek shipping magnet who amassed the world's largest privately owned shipping fleet before P and O and Rob Bryden were launched. They no longer belong to the people that they used to belong to. They have been sold to Fred Olson. And I have not sussed him out yet. I have not even looked him up. Okay, so he's a Greek shipping magnet and guess in Greece what he calls his airline. Yeah, so there's his women. He married Athena Mary Livanos, daughter of shipping tank tycoon Stavros C. Livanos, and unfortunately his bloodline is on my other computer, but we're not allowed to see it now. Like we were this Oh no, that's because. Well, we might be able to see it. Sorry, I've made a major error, the powers that be have nearly got my computers totally silenced so you can see nothing on the screen on my computer anymore but you can see his bloodline on the screen now uh, and if I were to zoom out on it which I have done already but that's no longer allowed to be there <laughs> We're not allowed to be able to analyse this efficiently, which is why my computers are all crashing. So, uh, how do I get full screen on that? There we go. And then if I do that, how do I get to enlarge and uh, reduce the image so I can then zoom in on it? Right then. So if I pull that down, like his granny's pants we will be able to understand the bloodline and his granny was called Gethsemane and there she is at the top of that image Gethsemane Onasi yeah the, she is uh, not given a maiden name but that's her Christian name do you get it that's where Jesus was executed by the ancestors of this lot who wrote the fucking Bible and then flitted to Greece eh, and then run an air company called so let's just zoom in so I can tell you some of the other family names so there's several people in it and the, I've explained to you that the personal services movie was eh, <laughs> made to cover the fact that Papa Sokolu used to be one of the policemen that was shot at the Sydney Street siege and her mother, eh, her daughter, that's Gethsemane Onasai, she has no maiden name, eh, her daughter is the mother of Aristotle Onassis, the shipping line man, eh, and her name is Penelope, Penelope Dollar Blue. Yeah, and that's Dolly and Papa Sokolu in the personal services movie. Okay, uh, and his dad, Aristotle's dad, was Socrates Onassis. He lived from 1872 to 1932. 
and next down is Aristotle Onassis. Oh God! Oh yeah, it's okay. Uh, married to a woman called Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, and her husband uh, just happened to have his head blown to bits because he tried to stop people like Aristotle, Aristotle Onassis uh, stealing the collateral gold that was stolen from the whole of the world uh, in uh, World War II. And all of that gold is still in Fort Knox and the Bank of International Settlements in Basel, which is why Basel 40 has been launched all across the world. Okay, so he was known for his business success, his great wealth, and his personal life. That is Aristotle. That is looks a little bit like uh, the Godfather. Don't you think? <laughs> uh, born January 1926 and died in Smyrnia, which is the joke about what's under your foreskin. <laughs> And he died in Scorpio Island, uh, and that's the scorpions and those lethal uh, little uh, toxic uh, uh, invertebrates that are uh, that me and Connor Kate's mother studied at Thames Poly. <laughs> okay, so that's Izmir in Turkey, and there he is again. Uh, and guess what the name of his Greek. Uh, airline company was. So there it is. Onassis was born in Smyrnia, which is that horrible sticky stuff under your foreskin if you do not look after it regularly or you get circumcised. And he fled with his city. They, they, they fled the city with his family to Greece in 1922 in the wake of the Greco Turkish War. That's Islamic Turkey. Uh, and fuck knows what religion Greece was at that time. He moved to Argentina in 1923 and established himself as a tobacco trader and later a shipping owner during the Second World War. Moving to Monaco, Onassis rivaled Prince René of, for economic control of the country through his ownership of SBM uh, and he sought to secure an oil shipping arrangement with Saudi Arabia and because he was not an American uh, he had to he had to and was using English and advertising and stuff he got a massive fine of seven million which is just chicken shit for him and he was married to Mariah Carlos Alexander Onassis and Christina yeah the Christianity joke that is his granny and Calvary Hill is right behind that place. That's the Garden of Gethsemane where Jesus had to sleep on the floor. Let me show you that again. It's tragic. And that's Jesus that never lived and the paintings are done in about the 17th century. Uh, so, where was that again? Uh, uh, and that's the, the story of Aristotle, there he is again, there's the great fire of Smyrnia, yeah, do you get it? the hotness under your infected foreskin, and there it is, killed massive numbers of people, but not many Islamists, which is why they're allowed to start another, another set of killings, yeah, and Papin Rio continued all of that long after Onassis was dead and he was trained in America and he asset stripped the whole of Greece and allegedly Germany is guilty for that and they're now paying reparations out of Germany for everything that is the false news uh, and I've just tried to show the world before I searched for Craig White so there is Craig White that lived in Monaco in a massive mansion like Aristotle Onassis did and then he lived in that house there in Grant on Spey where Craig White of Rangers then became the next owner 
Okay, so there is the uh, Craig White of Rangers and Grant on Spade, which is where the Gordon's Town School is, where uh, Prince Charles and all the uh, uh, parents of uh, Connor Kate's lovers lived. Yet yeah, not all of the parents, because that is King Juan, Carlos and James Hewitt. And it's best not to talk about that, otherwise they try to section you. Okay, so that's the mansion in Grant on Spey is there. And that's Craig White shouting his mouth off. And he was a Rangers director. And David Murray has lost both his legs. And he is a massive money launderer with Lord Grade. Uh, and I think he might have sacked York, I forget where he lives. Yeah, and that is all the directorates that I have profiled for the Murray family, and they are massively linked to the Lamont family. Yeah, and I think you know that they are usual suspects. Okay, let's show you Craig White's empire, a little bit more of it. I can't see, oh there's him in Monaco, does not look very like him, he's very young there. Yeah, and the next owner of that mansion used to be my Facebook friend, but I can't remember what his name is, and he lived in Kelso with his woman uh, from Switzerland, perpetually with limps and injuries. Right then, so Craig White Grant Monsby, and there's Craig White's massive Monaco mansions. Do you get the rainy joke? Okay, and that is the place, Monaco, where Winston Churchill and Beaverbrook, the massive killers in World War Two, celebrated Winston uh, Beaverbrook's golden wedding. Uh, sorry, Winston Churchill's golden wedding celebrations were at the in Monaco, uh, in the home that was owned by Lord Beaverbrook, who was the propagandist and owner of the Daily Express and all of the training uh, of Lord Haw Ho is down to them and the people that were the creators of Burke's Peerage that are the lethal family that was married to the Mitford sisters that is a relative of my wife's bloodline. Yet that is the massive uh, leaders of the Nazi rallies at Earl's Court yeah, and that is now where Gary Lineker, the fascist who drinks with Prince William, yeah, and has had to divorce his wife, uh, also uh, used to present the sporting awards for the sports champion every year with Gary Logan, who's out of uh, Roman, and I've got her pin now. I can explain that in a future video. Okay, so this is now covered up by J.K. Rowling in the White House because the Rangers directorates now have a Mr. White House on it. Yeah, that is the billionaire J.K. Rowling who's got, <laughs> who's got MS in the family and that is because MS is most pre prevalent in the northern lands and that is the Faroe Islands and the joke about the bloodlines that descend to Julius Caesar, who was the grandson of Arius Pisa, eh, and was murdered on the Night of the Long Knives, because he wanted to gift Rome and its massive empire to the citizens of Rome, rather than stealing it eh, and allowing the Pisa families to do that, which is why he was killed. And Mark Antony then became the person that passes on the blood eh, to Cleopatra in the Pharaoh bloodlines that are Suta and eh, they are Arsenal and that is the naming of Arsenal Football Club and that extraordinary video I had to make on them. So let me now show you the people chanting and singing the village people song for Rangers and that is the village people that are the gay boys in America and that is the cull 
by all of the same Piso family and it's hilarious yeah until you start chanting we've got a pineapple on your head and someone's prepared to tell the story about that being Gunnersbury and the Arsenal fans singing about the Piso pyramids yeah so let's quickly have a little stanza of we are the people for rangers the chosen ones that is the cause of all of the religious division and Celtic are just as guilty every one of the cast of the team that won in 1967 the European Cup all of them are mafia members Chalmers on the wing uh, ch sorry Lennox on the wing Johnson on the wing uh, many of them died young and the Gamals that were our friends in the indie camp movement uh, are on the last legs in Glesky and that's Bill Gamble, friend of George W. Bush and all the elite families that run the syndicate. So in Monaco, the Rainier's wife was Princess Grace, and she was murdered, and that becomes the song about Princess Grace of Monaco, sung by Micah out of the Piso Bible, and he's swinging, uh, he is swinging uh, light tubes, and that is the joke. I want to talk. Yeah, he is swinging in this video light tubes and that is the joke about the British Royals, Winston Churchill and Aristotle Onassis running drugs into the South Pacific. All of that funds the IRA uh, and then they are replaced by the real uh, fathers of Queen Elizabeth II's babies after Princess Anne and that is Lord Plunkett and Lord Porchester who run the narcotics after them and that is Prince Philip and the light tubes and on and on it goes that is Philip's light tubes for Royal Dutch Shell and the cocaine was in those light tubes and they were able to find it using sonar boys when the ships went missing and all of it is a massive and Greg Hallett told that story and Peter Williams QC the person that helped to fund the IRA, uh, who's right up in the judiciary in uh, New Zealand, he got a lethal cancer when Greg Hallett told that story. Okay, Micah's in the Bible, Grace Kelly was murdered, and before she was murdered, she sung with Bing Crosby, who is a lend lease scandalist like the people who went in the other direction and run the uh, the, the man that is the boss at the at Fort Knox when World War Two was launched by Roosevelt who's a pilgrim father all of it was covered uh, and that is the uh, the Fort Knox scandal that got the collateral gold stolen that John F. Kennedy died for quite a complicated story but all of it is the same usual suspects and Aristotle Onassis typifies them uh, and there's Craig White of Monaco and the Monaco mansions uh, and uh, Princess Grace was murdered yeah or it's just another one of those elite sender to the colonies with James Bond uh, and that is uh, Scotland's greatest hero uh, and that is David Murray's close friend that is Sean Cunningham yeah, and God gets David Murray I think it was in a car crash and Coulson, his Formula 1 racing man uh, was in several plane crashes like Harrison Ford has been recently all of them the Aryan master race that have written the gods out of the Bibles and have taken over massive 
mansions and that is the one that uh, is sung about by Oasis <laughs> yeah uh, and all of it they all are descended from the Pisa bloodline and the Oasis singers the two brothers have the, exactly the same nose as Flavius Josephus and they sing with Madonna about the American pie and the day the music ends and that is Madonna that is on George W. Bush's bloodline and it is just a sordid plot to steal the world and to get rid of the innocent people using the NHS that Theresa May has bunged this week they're getting a 20 billion uh, initiative at the NHS which is totally corrupted yeah I've told you about the drugs and the drug deals that get 40% uh, of a doctor's salary for over prescribing and it was Dr Sandy Morris in Kelso who told me that before his colleague Ian Finland tried to ban me up for telling such stories and allowing them to get a hundred grand basic for dismembering every one of their patients and the, the woman that is Shona Robinson is going to impose at the age of 60 on people that are hypertensive drugs called statins that we have proven all around the world and particularly in Sweden yeah they, they have proven that those statins are toxic but because 60 is the magical code number for Piso yeah that is the Bible author uh, and that is the age at which you get your bus pass and all of it is a massive pistic so Shona Robison yet the Robisons are in Camilla's bloodline uh, and that is Shona Robinson is now the head of the NHS in Scotland for the Scottish Parliament and we now have four or five tiers of government when I was a boy we only had one or uh, we only had one that was the local council uh, and there were no district councils uh, all of it was run locally now it is a global mafia yeah and I've explained in the papal lines how the McAlpines are the papal lines uh, and he's just following me around yeah the body doubles are totally pathetic uh, and all of this uh, led to uh, the White House joke and it's still going on uh, the house that David Murray's son owned in Cramond which was Miss, Miss Jean Brodie's fascist place uh, is now owned by David Murray's son uh, sorry it was taken from David Murray's son by JK Rowling because she's a billionaire in that syndicate and all the Harry Potter movies cover up the fact that all the families that the actresses actors and actresses are in are actually the Mafia member and that's why it was made at Annick Castle because uh, that is Perseus the poet and you should see the stories that I've discovered for him uh, and how the Pisos are alive and well in Anassus's uh, Greece ok so it's so complicated uh, but the, the, the folk that were in Grant non Spain where we, I used to go fishing every year with my wife and with Gavin Brown, my best man. Uh, yeah, all of the, he's been hit by lightning twice, and it was his wife, uh, his niece, that uh, accused me of assaulting her. Uh, and all I was trying to do was to keep her husband, who's an ambulance man, off me as they started a massive fight in the Black Swan Hotel which I'm still banned from in Kelso yeah it's at and no one will tell me who the owners of that hotel is now uh, and it's just a massive uh, Muppet show globally uh, and John Lamont yeah who was a Pilgrim Father's family and they are out of the crooked Holland that launched all the false religion uh, he's been my MP and my re representative but he's refused to meet me ever since I returned to Scotland in 2009 and that's what 
means that uh, everybody that was my MP is no longer able to run for political office. Yeah, that is Michael Moore, Secretary of State for Scotland, 82 directorates on the P&O shipping lines with George W. Bush as a co-director and running scams that mean that all of those P&O piezo jokes get access to all of the great shipping places in America. And this man, Onassis, has been fined seven million dollars for uh, being an English speaker. I forget what it is, but if you look at his Wikipedia page, he was fined uh, for uh, running an English speaking shipping line in Greece. Uh, it was a massive fine, and it was all about uh, propaganda for America and uh, profiteering from those American uh, shipping places. Okay, this is a hopelessly complex theme. Uh, and I've not prepared at all for it. As soon as I saw the Rangers songs, I thought I'd better archive them and I'll make a two minute video. But let me show you Anassis' track record and what he does next. So he's been in Anatolia, for whom the bell tolls. He's been in Argentina. He's a shipping magnet. He goes to Monaco. He gets into the deals with Saudi, which is why he was fined by the Americans. He runs whaling jokes, which are the belly of the whale joke for Pinocchio and Jesus, uh, and that is all the massive movies that have been made about uh, Geppetto is the father god in the Pinocchio story, and he's trapped in the belly of the whale, and that is the mammalian god, because whales are mammals. Okay, and he runs for a laugh, Olympic Airways. In 1956, Greek airlines in general faced economic difficulties whereby companies like TAE were affected by strikes and cash shortage. The Greek government decided to give this and other companies to the private sector and on July 30th, 1956, Onassis signed a contract granting him the operational rights to the Greek transport industry when Onassis heard during negotiations that he would not be able to use the five Olympic rings in his logo due to copyright I issues, so he simply decided to add a sixth ring. That is the Olympian symbols that are the five rings, and the sixth ring is Antarctica. And all the stories that I'm telling you about Titus Oates and Titus being one of the Flavian emperors but also being a Protestant revolutionary in the massive culls that are all the interdenominational uh, strife. And that's why Rangers still sing We Are The People. And little do they know that it is that we are the gay people and we are the people that are singing in those songs about the gay boys in the uh, uh, Christian, the YMCA. <laughs> yeah, and I'd love to have single co combat with Craig White of Monaco. And Bing Crosby sings with Princess Grace before she's murdered and he runs the Lend-Lease scam, and all of that leads to the huge stealing of all of the collateral gold that Kennedy died trying to release from the Rothschild Central Banks, all of which are now owned by the Rothschild all over the world. There is not an independent central bank left since they killed Gaddafi. And no doubt I will get lots of controversy on that, but everyone that issues money to the world, which is a nickname for themselves, because none of the federal banks fund government anywhere since Gaddafi and uh, Hussein were taken down. But Hussein 
has a perfect body double in Edinburgh and he works for uh, the uh, now transatlantic alliance that is the link between Donald and uh, Enterprise Scotland with all those Barclays and all those famous, famous banking names in the syndicate yeah, including the Bruce family that are in the syndicate across the, tra the transatlantic scams that is the selling off of all the big energy companies in the world and the royals get the take from that as well and every one of the residual royal families is descended from Charlemagne the serial killer who was sainted in Rome in 800 AD on the 25th of December and the summer solstice for my hero that is the sun god Sol Natalis Invictus uh, is tomorrow and I'm looking forward to it uh, mightily and I hope to live that long yeah, because the polis, yeah, are named after the Bible authors, and the prisons are, and the pistols, and the spires, and everything is named after the Bible authors. Yeah, and the helicopter is the heliopolis, and that is God dragging the earth, yet the sun around the earth. And tomorrow we get more sun access than we any other day in the year. Unless it's false news and no one can know. Let me just see what Billy Connolly's role in the Monaco mansion for Rangers and Craig White is. There he is. Uh, and he's pictured at number 10 Downing Street with his Australian bint yeah and he must now own a massive mansion in Scotland and that may be it <laughs> let me see this is live there is no pre-preparation as you can tell Billy Connolly finds a buyer for 3 million mansion yeah that's the man that I believe is descended from the Roman emperors yeah, I forget which one it was. I think it must be Hadrian. And he murders uh, one of the earliest papal bloodlines. That is the man that was murdered at the age of 35 because he stood in Emperor Hadrian's way. Yeah, and that is Billy Connolly that pretends that he was a riveter in the shipping lines. Do you get it? All the same joke. P and O is Piso, beginning to end and his wife is called Pamela Stevenson uh, and he's been knighted uh, and that is by the Queen who's in that piece of bloodline oh no it's, uh, it's Prince William and Prince William was named Prince William because Prince William in Hesse Cassell was the first customer for Rothschild yeah, and they scammed him like crazy and no one's aware of it but me and the authors of the books are the Fergusons yeah, and he now makes NHS adverts about the cancer that the gods give us all ok you get it and there is the money launderer that is Parkinson yeah, and Jeff Boycott is his partner and the people that run the money out of Bristol are uh, the people that are Elysia Jacobs and they are the same money launderers for Parkinson and for Jeff Boycott the cricketer and I've got all the information and he stands up in a meeting with the Dimblebees on Panorama uh, and they accuse him of being a Bullingdon boy that's him and so he just turns round to the Dimblebee that is asking the questions and he announces straight out that he was a Bullingdon boy too. Good on you, Boris. Token resistance from the German master racers that are the launch of all those massive uh, uh, religious hatred themes. And I, I love the Rangers fans, and particularly the ones here. Uh, 
and that is uh, Hardison Avenue and the Master Race. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think we can stop now, but let me show you what the gods did to Anassus's territory, and let me show you who his next women are. Where is she? He's a lovely looking mafia man, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, and Smyrnia under your foreskin. Okay, so let's find his women. And then we can stop. And I'd love to go to Monaco, the home that they celebrated Churchill's 50th wedding anniversary in was called La. It's like cappuccino, but it's La Caponica. And if you look it up on my website, there are huge pictures of it and all the art treasures that Beaverbrook then has uh, are in Canada already. And that is Winston Churchill, the father of our current queen. Onassis married uh, Athena Mary Livanos, the daughter of a uh, Gethsemane. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> and that's why Hillary Clinton is thus named as it was written. Yeah. Chateau de la Croix. The house was then acquired by Onassis' brother-in-law Stavros Niarchos and the naming of Nachos And Livy is one of the Roman uh, philosophers' wives, and on and on it goes. Mar Onassis and opera prima donna Maria Callas carried on an affair despite the fact that they were both married. They met in Venice, promoted by Elsa Maxwell. Uh, Onassis' comment to Spiros with the word piso in it, scuras, there was just a natural curiosity. After all, we were the most famous Greeks alive in the world. Callus and Anassus both divorced their spouses, but did not marry each other. And here is Jackie Kennedy. And there's not even a picture of her. So we might have to go back to the thumbnail uh, to see her. That is the wife of John F. Kennedy, who tried to free the world's collateral gold from the world leaders that stole it all in World War II. And that's why he was shot dead and why his brains are all over the pavement. Uh, and that's in Boston. And the person that was uh, the MP for that region, I forget his name, but he refused to travel in the same car. And Jim Fetzer and all those people that share the names that Donald Trump now has, uh, they have not solved who killed him yet. And that was Beaverbrook and Churchill, the people that celebrated in the Côte d'Azur the fact that Winston Churchill has lived and died in his bed, yeah, and he's been happily married for 50 years, and he's also the parent of the Queen of England, Princess Margaret, and Bill Clinton, and that's what Greg Hallett, my friend on Skype, died for. Onassis and opera prima, prima donna, Maria Callas, so let's see if we can find in Google Images, a picture of a uh, picture of JFK and uh, Onassis. So the Pizzo family went to Greece. Ah, there they are. Okay, there's Kennedy now with no brain inside his grave, and there is his ex-wife, married to the mafia man that is Aristotle Onassis and he is the parent of the Miller sisters and everybody that is residual monarchy like Prince Philip 
who runs the Philip White light tube joke for his cousins in uh, the uh, Royal Dutch family. Do you get it? Philips, the electricity company. And when I was in uh, New Zealand, they were looking to get uh, sponsorship in the neuroscience department from the Philips uh, electricity company that the narcotics are in and are in Micah's light tubes. Let's turn off the music and show you that he has light tubes. Why don't you like me? Why don't you like me? And all of it is Micah in the Bible. Where is it? There they go, the light tubes. Spinning them around like they do in the Star Wars team. See him? <laughs> and that is the graph rotary blades and there are the light tubes for the narcotics for Prince Philip and the two other parents of the Queen's babies so that they cannot tell the story and ease their consciences. That's called coercion. Yeah. And uh, the light tubes were used to take the cocaine and the narcotics to the South Pacific and they were traced by sonar boys within a few minutes and the Air Force and the Navy for Prince Philip picked them up and all of that becomes the death of Greg Hammett for telling the story. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Right then, and there's the Piso pizzas. And the Leaning Tower with Rob Bryden eh, standing in front of it as the advertising magnet for P and O. And that is on my video thumbnails already. Okay, so there's Onassis with his woman that was Kennedy's ex. Uh, and she is the person that then, uh, I don't think she married him, uh, Jackie O. Yeah, just the same role in life as my wife. She is Intel, and that is lethal in every country in the world on behalf of the residual monarchies, all of whom are descended from Charlemagne. The joke about Ing, uh, a sting this pop singer sings with uh, the all the massive bands and how the jealous sun god is jealous of everything that he gets to make love to. His name means saint and ing, and that is the pagan colours. Yeah, the literal mass murderers all over the world into America, and she's got the papal hat on. Yeah, and all the first popes were named after the Piso family, uh, and uh, so we've got Jackie O and Templesman. He is not an oil or a hotel magnet or a aircraft magnet. So the aircraft scam got involved with Boeing and everything that I've told you about King, uh, the, the man that is Bernhard of the Netherlands and he's part of those Boeing scams uh, and the Concorde scams and the competition and this man's in it too and he has the goal to call his airline company Olympia like the person that launched the Olympic Games uh, and I forget what his joke is but it is all the same as Santa Claus and Christmas Temple is man he's the De Beers magnet yeah that is the De Beers diamonds and there they are yeah that's a Getty image which will get blocked if I expand it so let's do it with that one and that one is a Pi Piso interest one yeah uh, and they have no text on the website they just drop the hint that she is descended from Piso or he is 
and more likely both of them are. So there it says there, Pi Interest, New York, Corn, Morris Templesman, and let me show you what the beers trade in. Okay, that's diamonds. De Beers. And that is De Beer and all the families that were in Northumberland when Perseus the poet moved there. And that is the Annick Castle and the Harry Potter movies and everything that is crooked in that. That's Emma Watson. Watch Emma Watson and Tom Hanks and uh, we're watching you the movie trailer it's about the new world order and this is the most premier people there and let's now look for the beers diamonds and that is the reason why the lockerbie plane was brought down if it ever was because all of it is propaganda <laughs> yeah there's the beers and what they trade in all over africa and that is, uh, that is the uh, motive for bringing down the Lockerbie plane. But that is just the low-key joke again. Yeah, so she is an evil woman, which is why she dies young. Uh, and uh, Onassis uh, doesn't have any pictures on his website. Oh. Onassis financed the construction of the Olympic Tower in New York. All of them think they are gods. Uh, Onassis was buried on the island of Scorpio in Greece. And that is the Scorpions that were the band that celebrated the naming of the South African police that released Jackie Celebi to be the head of Interpol and that is the scorpions that sing the pop song that inspires the whole world to believe that world leaders are innocent when they bring down the Berlin Wall. And then David Bowie sings the song that tells the truth. Where are we now? Because he's got God's lethal cancer and he's only got a couple of weeks to go. And that's why he proclaims that the whole of his life is about walking the dead through Berlin and that is the jungle pub in Berlin that is the joke about Jumanji and everything that is evil in this world all of them are billionaires but <laughs> the, the, so this one's named after the first popes that's Alexander S. Onassis Public Benefit Foundation based in the tax haven of Vaduz uh, and that is in Liechtenstein and headquartered in godly Athens. Isn't it hilarious? And let's see what else they've got if they've not got pictures of Jackie O. None at all. Oh, well, there she is. Oh, isn't she a plain looking woman and quite Grecian? Oh, I'd better not say plain looking woman because she's got a body double in Dundee too and that could get me banned from the pubs <laughs> family Ar Tatia Schlossberg John F. Kennedy Jr Patrick Bouvier Kennedy John Vernu Bouvier father Lee Radswilly yeah all the famous names and there's Janet Ockinge Klosch Rutherford and that is those that got the Nobel Prize for launching the bomb and they were working in New Zealand which still belongs to the Queen no matter what they tell you and that is where uh, the sonar boys were used to find the cocaine stash yeah, in Phillips light tubes they took the cocaine out by breaking the tube and they sent back the empty boxes that said you can pay us now isn't it lovely? And the pictures of all of that are all over my website. Okay, so let's close on something that you can comprehend. Prof.
George Lee's Revelations and then we look for oh ever so reluctant that's Queenie who lays the wreath yeah, on behalf of this lethal and totally corrupted family until I start reporting her as a massive profiteer from the poppy fund like Butcher Haig before then and like the Duke of Westminster who runs the British Legion for profit and may not be dead at all and may call himself Hosey in Dundee now and that could get me in a fist fight with him in the Dundee pubs. And Hosey was the name of Shona Husband Ro Robison, the 60 scam with the drugs in the NHS. And on and on it goes, and a lot of it is just vanity. Yeah, If people like Hannah Mary Rothschild had the courage to break out of the syndicate and to tell the truth, she could become the real Evita for the real world and make it civilization. But I doubt that that is going to happen. Oh God, they won't let me open my website. you're an innocent person able to access my website. Okay, let's look up Sonar Boys and we'll see the pictures of all those scams. Okay, so there's the Queen Victoria scam that leads to all of the monarchies all over Charlemagne's world becoming bastards of Rothschild. There's the killing of Queen Victoria's husband who never had sex with her because he was a homo and that is him wearing the uh, Prince Albert chain. And then we go down and we get all the Shakespearean covers the Jack the Ripper murders by Prince Eddie and the British Royals, the illegitimacy, the sperm donations made by Winston Churchill so that the Queen could be sired of the imbecile that was the Stammering King, that was the Chief Master Mason that took us into World War II. Yeah, and there is Jenny Jerome and the naming of the hero in the Nymphomaniac movie because she had over 200 lovers and that is the Churchill bloodline and there's a bit of motherfucking going on in there and all of them are uh, <laughs> ancestors of their own cousins <laughs> and there's Kensington Palace and there is uh, Elizabeth Bowes Lion from downstairs in those mansions yeah and that is quite close to Grant Monspey too <laughs> okay you get it and there is Bo's lion and she died in a ripe old age as the maid yeah and if we go down I think we'll see pictures of the narcotics running isn't it lovely and I've still got time on my batteries let's see if we can find the sonar boy okay and there they all are abdicating all over Europe spending their life in the bedrooms, many of them drug addicts themselves uh, and Mrs. Simpson is quite a deviant and she has quite a hunger for sex and she's a hermaphrodite which makes it really exciting for <laughs> the gay boys that are the public school boys that become the British Royals out of Gordonston and there are the sonar boys yeah and there's the launch areas and there is Prince Philip running the syndicate and there is the sonar boys being picked up there are the missing planes headlines yeah and there is Prince Philip who runs it with that one there who's Plunkett 
and there's the heroine and the cooking stash and the man that produced all of those beautiful pictures uh, all of a sudden was threatened with death uh, and no one has talked to him as far as I'm aware since 2013 when we had those massive storms all over Europe and he was a friend of the, uh, the Portuguese families that are Marcus Manuel who was murdered by Edward VII and there's Prince Philip on the lake in Ireland where the person that was murdered uh, was Lord Mountbatten and Prince Philip now calls himself Mountbatten to obfuscate the fact that he did that to stop Mountbatten joining the triumvirate and there are the planes again and there are the personal services co co covers and all of the killing uh, of the people at the Sydney Street Siege and the people that are in the pictures of the policemen that were killed are the uh, the Dugashvili thing that you've learned about and that becomes the Montefiore family and he's now an analyst on Russian and Tsar history and there is the hearing for Panorama with the Bullingdon boys cheering it uh, and that is Dimbleby and the Thimblebees are on the American presidential bloodline and there are the hospitals that they all die in or are disappeared from that I used to work in yeah that is the hospital opposite the Lindo wing where the Queen has her babies and that is where even in the birth for Princess Kate they had to fake up a murder so that their illegitimacy could be covered and the fact that her mother is a goldsmith and the goldsmiths are actually the parents of the bastards that we are also include Princess Diana daughter of the goldsmith who is the meat eater and he may not be in the picture and there's another one that they disappeared he lived in Kirkney and like me dead on arrival and there's the Irish killings of Mountbatten and there is Mountbatten with his killer Prince Philip and that's the piezo pistol that all of the police carry so that we can have got to be led by a mafia quite colourful and there's the navy connections that allow the British royals to pick up the stash you get it Philip's light tubes Lord High Admiral of the United Kingdom, HRH, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Knigget, KG, Knight, OM, GBE, AC, QSO, uh, PC, which is Calpurnius Piso, backwards, and Kensington Palace. <laughs> right then, and on and on it goes, and there's Mrs. Thatcher and the wars they declare. Falkland is the palace for the Scottish claimants who never get to be queen but they get their heads locked off yeah, thank you to the folk that told me that eh, who used to be in the army and risked their lives in fucking Argentina Falkland Palace is in Fife Fife is named Fife because it is the Scottish kingdom that is the fib Yeah, and Rupert Murdoch is now the equivalent of the Emperato, which is why I'm looking forward to his funeral. Sorry, he was at Lord Nathan Rothschild of Austria and Israel, which is Shimon Perez's stamping ground, and the Perez's include sh uh, the, uh, the people that are the Barcelona football players. That's the parent of Lionel Messi, that is the, co the cause of the Barcelona terror is that they are linked to Perez of Israel who also have massive war treasures galleries and there is Onassis talking to Churchill about the drug running and Greg Hallett was the person that accumulated all of those photos and Jordan is a Scandinavian and there is the Falklands fucking war 
and it is absolutely tragic and pathetic and childish. There is Greek shipping magnet, the drug trader since 1940, friend of Winston Churchill, that is Aristotle Onassis. Yeah, so it's a, you look up their history on, and if I were to look for the Miller sisters now, you would see that his children are still the mafia, and they become kings and queens all over Europe. And there's the ones that we've got now, and it's totally decrepit. <laughs> right then, I think I should stop. Oh, and here's the Crown Estates. Global. They are permanently on holiday. How much are the Rothschilds worth, and how much do they own? That is the parents of the royal bastards and it, there's no picture of them because they're quite dangerous <laughs> if you get too explicit Hannah Hannah In the, and there is the owner of Royal Dutch Shell Queen Juliana and Prince Bernhard of the World Wildlife Fund and the Committee of 1001 and the Committee of 300 eh, and he was a Nazi before the war. He was in charge of the reparations after the war and he proclaimed that all of his land was to be greater uh, and that is the reparations that allowed him to become a Boeing plane magnet like the person that is you just heard about, Aristotle Onassis from the Argentinian massacres right through the whole of the scam they are able to share the Jesus joke by the world by ma naming his mother, his grandmother, Gethsemane. And olive oil becomes the wife of uh, Popeye in the Muppet Show that is the monarchy all over the world and they're the world's biggest killers and drug addiction cause and the world's drug czar is uh, Branson of uh, the internet access and the train scams and the global empire that is the joke about the virgin and every internet access system costs the world a fortune which is why I make my videos now on the uh, tiny little Kodak camera that is the icon for McCartney of Hemel Hempstead and the Kodak company that is likely to be the joke about Kojak and the justice in Galilee because he's the Roman governor that persecutes Jesus that never ever lived and the Bible author Piso is the naming of poli the police and the pistols and the prisons and everything goes around and around and around and that in the fairground right opposite the Houses of Parliament is the uh, Sun God Ra's rays. It's his day of celebration tomorrow, and I'm hoping that he will end it all. Eh? And if that's what has to happen, that is what will happen. The humans do not deserve to be in charge of this earth, and every religion that they have taken away the worshipping of the Sun God for is a fake. And there's the opium wealth in. Afghanistan and the last places where the central banks were stolen and that is not a Robison or a Camilla eh, but that is the people that are the head of fucking NATO which is a joke about the sun god Sol Natalis Invictus so eh, at least I've got some pictures in you might be able to understand them eh, yeah, and there is the Dunblane School, Lord Mackay of Clashfern, and all of the war beds orphans become the sex victims for Archbishop O'Brien. The B Aryan joke that is the blight of the world and the means that the gods have to kill all of the people that have a laugh at that or make them lose their tits Kylie Basel Christmas Tattoo 2013 Swiss Television yeah and all the Swiss companies 
and all the lend lease scams that have the gold in Fort Knox and that's what the gods do. Prince Philip's light tubes for the Royal Dutch Shell Oil Companies. Yeah? Philip's light tubes, a joke to dismember the world by addiction. 200 years of this were imposed on China and the Golden, golden Triangle in the Opium, Vietnam and Korea, Korean Wars. Yet where all of those people died thousands of miles from home. Yeah, and I think that is the Korean venue for, it's not the Ring of Fire, but it is the... Uh, the narcotics regions are called the Golden Triangle and for obvious reasons and it is totally murderous. Aftermath of the flood in Oud Tong Gori over Flaki in the Netherlands damages 9% of total Dutch farmland flooded. And that's maybe the gods taking it back from the king that was in charge of the reparations. Yeah? started the war as a Nazi, ended it living up the airline companies, yeah, and Onassis had to pay a token fine. And there's the Irish Troubles and the funding of that by Terry Clark and the Mr. Asia Syndicate. Do you get it? That is, Onassis's Greek families lived in Falesia, yeah, and that is the Falese jokes for the Norman conquerors and the undertakers, that all of whom occupy Windsor Palace, and then they go back to the original Windsor names when the German royals uh, destroy the whole of Europe so that they can bankrupt every country in Europe. Okay. Detective Inspector Ian Hastings with the links to the Hastings and the Hastios that are involved in the New Zealand legal scams and that's Terry Clark worked for Peter Williams QC who funded the IRA and on and on it goes. There he is. Yeah, you get it? And that's the British prisons that are also named after Pizzo and they're on the Isle of Wight partially to obfuscate the fact that that is where Queen Victoria raised the only legitimate child she ever had. Uh, and the man that is uh, Harry Redknapp is a massive part of the whole of the cover-up of it. And there's Camilla. Prince Charles had a child with Camilla Parker Bowles. Oh, I wish I'd made the second half of the video first because the first bit was a little bit shambolic. Yeah, but now at least you've got some pictures to relate to. And there is Prince Phil. Yeah, killer of the world's most innocent women. Yeah, a drug running syndicate member. And when his cousin, uh, Lord Mountbatten, who recommended him as the Queen's lover out of Greece, like Onassis, yeah, he had him executed because he had already allocated the third drug running role to the second and third drug running roles to Plunkett and Porchester, who sired Andrew and all the younger babies of the Queen because he's a sexual deviant. And there is uh, the baby victims and that's the Dunblame inquiry was a cover up and peers bullied me to keep quiet says Lord Burton ex-Mason's leader and there is the gun supplier for Dunblame yeah and he's uh, one of those uh, folk that are yeah so all of that is the impeccable work and photos of Greg Hart not heard from him since 2013 when those massive floods occurred in Germany and that is Albert and everything that I've told you about the scams 
that is the Rothschild siring of everything that is lethal in the world wars. Yeah, so that's Montefiore, that is Todesco and the uh, mafias out of Austria that I've been telling you about for weeks now. Okay? Uh, and uh, what else could I tell you before the batteries run out? The beers, diamonds, and stuff more NASA's and what's on the other computer. Uh, so So there's the great fires for uh, the uh, folk that are scamming. Yet yeah, everything is about divide and conquer. And this is in uh, Smyrna in Greece. And that's the Turkish Armenian regions where the great massacres occur. And that's the Turkish forces that are the Ataturks. And I forget what the current leader is, but that's the Ataturk that led us into the wars at Gallipoli and all of them are wearing those little hats that are the fezes for Islam yeah and that becomes in my childhood that becomes the two people that live at the back of the shed and that is the uh, comedies and cartoons about uh, <laughs> the wooden tops, yeah, wearing the Turkish fez, like every one of the British troops who did the, fa the fascist marching at Ibrox Stadium in front of the stammering king, and this is what they get. So let me show you, as a finish, the name of Aristotle and Assis's family members. Yeah, and we'll close there. So there's. Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, 1929 to 1994. Artemis Garu Faridi Onassis, and that's the father joke again and again and again. And there's the Papa Sokolu covers. Uh, I have not looked at the whole of the bloodline, but there is Gethsemane Onassis, and the death of Jesus, and those horrible pictures of poor Jesus in the art galleries having to sleep on the streets before he never ever lived and was launched as a nickname for Aristotle Onassis's ancestors who moved to Greece because the volcanoes in Naples were uh, too dangerous for them to live under after the vil Villa Papyri was buried. Uh, and I thought we had pictures no I think that, that just exemplifies fire has wept swept the city so Rupert Murdoch has not had a funeral yet but he was married at St Bride's that is the church in London that is more prone to fires because St Bride was the patron saint for the pagans of fire yeah and that's why it's been burnt down it burned down in 1666 and it has been burnt down more times than any other structure in London and that's pew pew Barney McGrew for all of those people that include the Beatles singers that are alleged to be murdered and that is Lord McCartney of Liverpool who lives in uh, the uh, mansion that is the same name as the Russian, massive Russian structure that is uh, the Hermitage. And I fished with my son in that river valley and all of it is a mafia operation right through world history. And that website there is fascinating. And that tells you that the Perseus is uh, the name of the gods in uh, in Italy, and that is the making of the Perseus the poet film that killed Pete Postlethwaite because he was his 
uh, often parent, uh, and that is the Percy's of Anik, and that is George W. Bush's 